We're here at the Jackson County Conference of High School with Mr. Ellis, and we are going to visit his economics class this morning. Do you mind tell us a little bit about what's, uh, what we're going to experience? This sure. Uh, so today we're we'll in our unit on supply and demand, and when we begin that unit, we do an intro activity, which is called a market for crude oil. Uh, and in that activity, half of the class are sellers, half of the class are buyers of crude oil, uh, and then they do roughly three rounds of buying and selling barrels of crude oil. Um, so we can actually demonstrate what supply and demand look like, so we actually learn about the graphs and draw them out. Uh, they can see themselves, hopefully, in those graphs where we acted out in class that you're going to see today. So have the students been prepped for this, or, or will this be their very first experience in the simulation? This will be their very first experience in this simulation. Uh, we've done some other simulations throughout the year, uh, but for this simulation itself, no. So you do simulations fairly periodically throughout the year? They're Periodically, yes. I wish we could do them more, but not everything kind of uh, pushes itself toward that. But as far as a big full-scale simulation, this is probably the third one we've done this year. Uh, we did one for circular flow model. We did one for productivity where we make pizzas. Um, so we try to interact those with some skits and some role plays throughout the content so we kind of bring it to life. And, and how do the students respond to, to those simulations? Uh, they usually enjoy them. Um, after they really get into them, uh, sometimes it's kind of hard the next day after, uh, once we've had all that excitement to really kind of debrief, you know, what did we get out of that learning experience and kind of take that to the content. But the pl plus side is, in the long run, when we're, you know, if a student's struggling with that content or they, you know, it gets time to review time at the end, they're you know, having a hard time remembering exactly the details. You know, the simulations are a good way to, hey, remember when we did that in class? And they might forget what I said. They very seldom forget that intense moment of uh, acting out what was going on. Absolutely. Well, do you mind if we take a closer look? Absolutely. Come and enjoy. So in just a few minutes, you are either going to be a buyer or seller. If you look at the top of that page I gave you, you'll be able to circle which one you are. Roughly, you'll be half and half. Uh, so let me kind of go over how this works. All right. So when you buy something, do you want to buy at the highest possible price or the lowest possible price? Lowest. Lowest. All right. Same thing holds true here. So don't forget that. All right. When you're selling something, you are. Do you want to sell it at the highest possible price? Highest. Or the lowest possible price? Highest. Highest. All right. Now let's think about this. If somebody has a buy car for forty and you've got a sell car for twenty-six, should you probably settle for twenty-seven? No. no. You don't know this person's out there. You don't know who they are, but you know there might be somebody out there. So what should you do before you take twenty-seven? Try, try to get much higher. And you're going to go out in the marketplace, which we call a pit. And you're going to try to, for example, we'll just say this person's a seller. Um, you want to try to sell that card. Let's say you and the buyer agree to a price of $35. You write down, you will come see Miss Caitlin Logan, who's sitting right there at that hot top table. And you just give her a card, she gives you a new card. Now don't give her no lip by begging for a better card or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> you got some bodyguards right hidden behind that door. Yeah. Yeah. I got 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. I don't know. I need to hear some 20. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Thank you, Mr. Ellis. That truly was remarkable, in particular seeing the students actively engaged in authentic learning experiences. And as you mentioned when you introduced the experience, certainly students will remember that. They might not always remember what we say, they might not always remember every ind individual lesson, but when they have those common experiences, they certainly can recall upon those. We enjoyed our time here at Jackson County Comprehensive High School. We'll see you on our next stop on our tour of remarkability throughout Jackson County Schools. Thank you.